Welcome back to Restore Thrive with Double D, Dr. Tim. Today we're going to talk about the introduction into change of direction, a little bit of lateral movement. What we're going to have Tim do today is the lateral step catch. It's a very simple move. What we're going to do is focus on getting into and out of our athletic position. When we change direction, we have one cue, one cue only, push. So we're going to have Tim set up in his athletic position, and he's going to push himself laterally into and out of it. So the first thing he's going to do is he's going to set up with his toes forward, his feet outside of his hips, his knee over his midstep. What Tim has done is he's loaded his posterior chain, maintained his good dead bug spine, eyes on the prize, he is ready to go. So what I'm going to have Tim do is I'm going to say, Tim, you're going to move to your left by pushing off of your right foot. I just want you to move four inches at a time, push, catch. Ready, ready, go. There he is. Tim, one step to the right, push and catch. Ready, ready, go. What we see here is Tim getting into and out of his athletic position small increments at a time. If he can maintain good athletic position setup, his knees track where they're supposed to, he maintains dead bug spine, we can progress this into a little bit more intensity. So I'm gonna have Tim push at 75%, try to cover a little bit of ground, but the same holds true. Lateral step and then a catch. Ready, ready, go. Going back to the right. Ready, ready. From here, you get the opportunity to coach him in his window. So everything is set up and ready to go. Let's show him a couple of different faults. So this one will be an open foot fault. Ready, ready, step to the right, go. Notice Tim's open foot. What he's done is he's now opened that hip and he's bleeding out force into that direction. He won't be able to change direction and go back this way as quickly. Any trunk fault that you wanna show. Step to your left, ready, ready. Notice Tim's trunk lagged behind. He left it over here as everything else was moving. This is another fault that can lead to other more serious problems down the chain. So with that trunk control, we wanna maintain that inline stability. So when he moves, everything is moving as a unit. Got any other faults for me? Perfect. If you have any questions, if you want to try this out, leave us a space down at restorethrive.com or give us a call.